If you want to master design and modeling in CAD, you have to learn how to evaluate surface quality with zebra stripes. And in this video, we will go over this whole topic, how you can achieve different qualities with different modeling techniques and everything that you need to know. So let's dive in. And the following lesson is just one module out of my new free surface modeling introduction course for beginners. And this course covers all the basics and fundamentals ensuring you excel in surface modeling. Starting with explaining NURBS and CAD, you will dive into the key principles of continuity and tangency. Through hands-on exercises, you will master surface modeling techniques by modeling objects like a shampoo bottle and cylinder connections. Additionally, Additionally, you will get some mindset training to tackle complex projects and solve common problems like smoothing surfaces and working with lofts. And as a grand final, there is a special section on how to model a product design from scratch with all the learnings. So enroll in this free course today and start your journey in surface modeling with plasticity. So check out the first link in the description box next to the video and now let's dive in into this tutorial. So if you look at this, maybe at this view, so this view is better. At this edge, what we have is we have those black and white stripes and then at, so here is the edge somewhere, right? So, do, 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 do. but here when this new surface begins, so this is one surface line and this is the other surface line and they are connected. So you see, so for example, this black stripe goes to this point here where the edge is, and then from this point, it goes then into our curved surface, but those lines are connected. So this just means it's G1, okay? So if they are connected, it's G1. If it would be G0, so let me just uh, show it to you. If uh, we would delete the surface, for example, and again, for example, we just go from here to here and loft is exactly the same and do here G0 and we are doing here G0. And we will even add those tangencies here, right? So even if we do this and maybe you look, okay, that looks fine, but no, if you go to the zebra stripes and you press shift E, so here the show edges command, now, what are you seeing? You are seeing that those lines are not connected. So this is one surface line, this is the other surface line, but they are not connected. So that just means this is G0. No continuity, no smoothness, no connection. And this also shows us and proves us if we go to, let's say, the mid so let's say we go to this and shift E. You see, we don't have continuity. Right here we have continuity because as you remember, we give it, gave it here G1. So what we are always doing on this extra supporting lines, uh, surfaces. So if we go here to this one, you see they are connected. They have like this spike, but they are connected. So this is what's important. So back to our problem, what we did is we first lofted those edges and G0, shift, shift, here it's G1 as we said. So, but I told you that if we check out this quality, doesn't look right. It's good, again, if you're a beginner, absolutely enough. You don't have to do it what I will just show it to you, but still if someone who is a little bit more advanced somehow still watches because I go so slowly. But anyway, so if we would just copy everything and shift D and just bring it and compare, and now we would do it the other way around, right? So because we have four edges and curves, we can either go this way or we can go this way or we can patch it all the time or we can even x -nerp it so so of course XNERP will give us the absolute most beautiful uh, result, but again, the, keep the things simple. But this time we are just going the other way around. I just want to show it to you. So from here to here and loft this first, shift and shift 
G0 at the top, G1, G1, okay. And now if we shift E and if we go into the metallic view, you see now the red one is even, so it's still not perfect, but it's already much better. And if we go now to the zebra stripe, so now they are extremely helpful because now you can analyze that and you just see that even though that we are connected here and here as well, you just see that the, the right method looks a little bit better, right? So, I mean, I know it's by far not really high quality, but the lines are just a little bit cleaner because here you see they are just drunk kind of, and here they are just a little bit more straight, right? So the right option would be better. But let's just try to do patch. So again, let's just duplicate it, shift D and just bring it here. And I forgot to select the curve as well. So select with the curve. And now let's just try to patch it. So select all of those, shift three. So search for patch, but I have it on shift three and G1 and G1, okay and shift E again. And let's check out the zebra stripes. <laughs> and you see the patch. So even if we, so here also we can see just, let's go back to the first view. With this um, mode, you can see it even better. So as you remember, so this right one was just a little bit better, right? Because here we just have this, doesn't look straight. But with this one, we can see it a little, even a little bit better. So this just looks a little bit smoother than here. So those points, they are much smoother connected than those ones. But again, here on the patch, you see, we just have like this little spike. So patch would not be the best option. So at the moment, the best option is go from here to here. And again, I know if someone advanced is watching, I know how to do it even better and much right. But again, it's a beginner thing and this would be just to overload and it would be much more work. But let's just try for those who have X-NERVs, just see what X-NERVs would do. So shift D and just bring it here. And now let's just try to close this hole with X-NERVs and shift four for me. And here we can even go G2 and make quad sided and press OK. And if we check now the lines here, you see we have, so here you see it's completely catastrophic, right? So that was the patch. That was our second method with the loft. And it's con like we have continuity, but it's not the highest quality. But again, here, <laughs> just, just, just look at how extended. So here's the edge, but look how long this line keeps being straight. So if we maybe go to the other view, to this view, <laughs> yeah, you see, it's just kind of one surface. So again, that's why XNURBS is completely, absolutely amazing. And also you see the beauty of surface modeling. Look, we have four different options how to create the surface. And I absolutely don't know if that's a good idea to, to show you all that. Maybe it's too much. Maybe I just should, should show you one. But I just want to show you with that, that you see with surface modeling, you have so many different options and everything gives you a little bit of a different result. And again, as a beginner, literally all of them would work. So, I mean, if you would render that and give it a rough material, <laughs> you would not see that. So it's just those surface modeling tweaks, which are just a lot of fun just to experiment around and just figure out what's the best, what, and this way you learn, right? Because now I just learned, so, I mean, I knew it kind of, but I, in this example, I would not patch it. Like patch it's, it's, it works better in different examples. So here it's, it's a loft. 
So here I also knew that it's better to loft it this way, so from this edge to this edge rather than from here. And of course I also knew that XNAPS will just naturally give us the best result. But again, I just knew it. So that's why I'm showing you that because I practiced, I experimented. It's just fun. But again, this is something when you are a little bit more advanced, when you are a beginner, <laughs> of course, you have different problems. You just have to figure out first how to set up those curves, how to do those surfaces in the in the technical correct even way so that you can give your G1 and stuff, right? So I can just delete everything and we can continue. And again, so just to sum it up in this example, for you as a beginner, we loft those first, shift G1 here, give it G0, and we have a very beautiful connection. And let's continue to fill out the soul and add some absolutely amazing, beautiful connections and surface transitions. So let's continue in our next module. And if you found that lesson helpful and you want to learn more about surface modeling, check out my free course with over 40 modules explaining everything about surface modeling that you need as a beginner. So sign up today with the first link in the description box next to the video. And I hope I can see you in there. Have a nice day. Bye.